Hello everyone, I'm back with a new update to the Universal Material Builder. Um, I can finally say that it's now universal. So back then I intentionally wrote everything with PySci 2 or PyQt5 so I can use it in other DCCs too. Um, now the last few updates I added render engines and a toolbar and I always tried to avoid it but um, now I took some time um, and finally created a version for Houdini as well. So for those who are new here, maybe I will quickly show you and demonstrate it how it works and then we will jump into Houdini and I show you uh, what it supports and how to install it for Houdini. So if you download the material builder, you get a folder called UMB. You place it in the location you want it to be. And for Maya, you simply drag and drop the install.mel into your viewport. This creates an icon in your current active shelf and if you press it uh, you can see that a material builder pops up uh, now if you have uh, opened it for the first time i would recommend to go into the app preferences and first select the render engine you're using so for me it's redshift and i also like that it's assigned the material to the selected objects already so i save that and now I want to create for my first bean the material. So I have my PBR textures right here and simply by selecting all, drag and dropping it onto the script and I call that one bean01 material and press create. And as you can see, it creates the material and assigns it to the selected object. So this makes it very, very fast to create materials. You might wonder how that now looks like in your shader. So let me quickly show you. Um, it, it creates the whole material setup in a very organized way. It renames everything um, and also uses one place to the texture node. Uh, so it's nice and uh, nice and clean. So this enables you to very quickly add materials uh, to your scene. And let's do another one, bean02 material, press create, and it updates automatically. All right, so uh, you might wonder how does it know which channels to use. So in the file name, you can see that we have like roughness, normal, and it reads the file name and detects the channel from that. Uh, sometimes maybe you have uh, not the right naming or you have other naming conventions then you have to go to text and change the text so for each available channel you can now here add keywords which the script is looking for in your naming so it can detect it uh, more easily if you have um, a texture which doesn't fit into any naming convention you can drag and drop it onto here and a set channel will pop up so this makes you can you choose now the channel manually edit and now it's in the diffuse uh, there's also a toolbar down here if you want to add full control UDEM or add channels manually you can just add a roughness channel now it's an empty channel and then you can search for it inside of here um, all right, so um, the Maya version supports Redshift, Arnold and V-Ray. And now let's go on to the Houdini version. So the installation is not that easy. Um, you have to um, right click onto your shelf and add a new tool. In here, you can call it UMB, for example. And now you can, it says to add an icon. Uh, you can simply go into the script icons and see that we have the logo right here. So maybe let me let's do that very quickly. Um, <clears throat> select the icon and now under the script tab, Python is selected already. Uh, you can see that here is an Houdini underscore install.py. If you open that, copy the text and paste it in here. You only have to adjust this path to your UMB folder. So I have it right here. I can simply copy and paste it. And what's very important is that you don't use backslash, but always just normal slash. A 
apply and accept and now I have it two times but uh, this now should work. So this is the universal material builder inside of Houdini. Under the preferences, uh, it works actually all the same. So under the preferences, you can choose either Redshift, Material X, or Principal Shader. Let's go for Material X for now and save it. Now I can quickly, let's see what I have in the scene under the material. I already have a material, let's delete that and do the exact same thing drag and drop it onto here let's call it bean01 material x and create and then now it creates a material x material so let me maybe switch to the stage context and the material is already assigned because i knew it from the from the material the same works with the principal shader so you can simply open it, drag and drop it into here. Let's change the preferences to principal shader and call it bean01 principal and create. And now under my material library, I will just select the principal shader, accept, and now it should uh, apply the different material which both obviously work with karma so another uh, principal shader it looks a bit different that's just because uh, you need to adjust the displacement it's usually set to offset minus 0 0.1 if you set it to zero it should look the same all right so um Unfortunately, the script with the new update is not free anymore. I, it took me uh, quite some time to, um, to rewrite everything and to now um, add the Houdini support with three new materials. So that's why I think I got a very fair price for three dollar, I, I think. Um, I will put the download Gumroad link into the description. And if you're interested um, or you have any any um, feedback or uh, support questions, you can always write me or write me in the comments. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope it helps a few of you. And I think we'll see you in the next video.